All right, so you're looking at the cicada model, and what I'm showing you is a video on how to do the legs. So with 3D printing SLA, you could 3D print the legs, but you only get a little bit of possibilities there, like one pose, right? So what I do with my insects, um, when I used to hand sculpt them with a Sculpty, is I built the legs out of really thin wire that's twisted. So I'm going to share with you that and you know like as again here's, a, here's like this little spider right and you can see his legs have like a texture on them but I got to pose that in any way I want it so I can pose it like it was like climbing on the ground or like if it was going up in the air and it's super helpful so I want to keep with that theme I'm, I'll show you how to do it so what you do is you get a pin vise okay there, it's a real small drill bit holder with a real small drill bit. You can buy the real small drill bits anywhere. And then you just drill out thing. Now, if you do this when they're not too hardened, like instead of uh, baking them in your UV engine all the way, bake them halfway, do it then and then put them back in so it's a little easier to drill. So I drill this about a quarter of an inch into the little bug and I provided little dips where these go. Okay, you get the idea. So a couple ways you can do this. You can use super glue or you can use resin. I would sit, I like super glue a little bit better, but I'm gonna show you resin because it's faster. Okay, so what you do is you get 14 gauge wire stranded. Okay, you take it apart like this, take the coating off. Then you take two pieces in a drill and you twist them. And the reason you do that is because it, prevent, it makes a texture, okay? So and you want a texture. And you can always remove the texture by just applying more UV resin to the wire after you get it posed. But the texture holds the UV resin in place. Okay, so what you do is you position your wire into the hole. I don't know if I can zoom in on this. It's kind of small. Okay, got it in the hole, just like that, right? Got a UV flashlight ready. Got another piece of wire. I'm dipping that in my UV 3D printed resin. Getting a drop. And I'm just kind of filling that wire. Now because of there's a thin space between there, it gets sucked into the hole. I think it's a siphoning effect. That's what they call it. And boom. And you just repeat that for all the legs. And if you want it more hardened at the end, you could just store it back in your UV thing. Now I cut these rather long because I can always cut them shorter later. So now when they're climbing, they have different legs than what they're flying. So the flying ones, uh, the flying model, you might want legs tucked up, like landing gears that are get tucked up. But when they're like this, they're climbing on things, and their legs look a little bit different. So it gives you a lot more options that way. And once you get used to it, it's pretty fast. So now that I have two in there, and I've kind of memorized, that's an inch and a half. 
So it would be nice if I did all, all six of them, but I'll, I'll share with you how this works. So they got a, a straight spot. Okay, so you take these rounded pliers, you get the straight spot. The front legs stick out. So they go like that. Okay, then they got another flat spot. Like that. Okay. And then they got another flat spot. But this time it's at an angle. So it looks like that. And then you see they got little shoes. So can you clip them? And boom. These last ones kind of bend down a little bit, but again, you got to look at some to balance it like that. It's better. So the other ones do that same thing, same bend, and they go this way, this way, this way, uh, this way, this way, this way, and he should be able to just go like this if you got him right. He should be able to stand on his feet and still balance. So that's how he makes cicada legs. Very cool, right? So I hope you enjoyed the little making bug leg tutorial. A weird video that I had to put on YouTube. Enjoy. Oh yeah, I forgot. So wouldn't you get it all done, right? Get it all done, you got them all posed, you got them perfect. Then if you want, uh, you can either paint it with your conductive paint, that if you're gonna do the electroforming, okay? I would just leave them a wire if that's the case. But if you want some texture, extra texture, just uh, make or just take that resin and let it drip on these. And the area right here is usually thicker. This is thicker and then it goes thinner, thinner. And this is a little bit thinner than that part. So look at some cicada legs, but you can put multiple layers of UV resin. You can even mix up the resin. Um, I use Solarize. Right. Oh, here's the other. Solarize. So you can mix it up. UV cure tying resin. This is nice because it has a brush. <laughs> so the two mix well together. And that's that can be coated in the same conductive way that I shared uh, with you on my other YouTube videos. So cute. Enjoy.